Okay, let's look at the basic components of a network. In the previous lesson, we talked about what networks are, why they're important, but let's have a look at what are the basic components of a network. Now, in a typical network, and let's think about where we are at school, okay? So sitting in your classroom, we have two things, okay? Workstations and servers. Now, the workstation is you. It's what you're working on, and you're called a client. All right, that's what you are. Here we have a picture of the desktop computer, but it could be a laptop or something. And then we have the servers. Now the servers are super duper very big, powerful machines, and they do a lot more than just the workstation. Okay, so a server will have more memory, more disk space, a lot more uh, faster processing speed, much better processes, and they handle a lot of things. They handle the file storage, the email storage, internet access, the firewalls, all that sort of stuff gets put onto the server. Okay, whereas a workstation is just where you sit, you log in, you do your work. So this is actually quite an important part of a network and if we have a look here this is something that goes into a desktop machine if you have a look at the side of your laptop you should see the same port on the side as well what is this it's an NIC card NIC what does NIC stand for network interface card it's a network interface card and in most computers you need to have this device Okay, this card in order to connect an Ethernet cable to connect to a network, to a wired network that is. There you can see an example that is on the side of a laptop, the Ethernet cable, there is the port over there, plugged in over there, and that is what we call the Ethernet port. There are other names for it, but you can just call it an Ethernet port and you'll know what we're talking about. Okay, so that's all good. Another component of a network, and you probably have one of these at home, quite important, what is this? It's a router. Now the router is very important because it has a couple of specific tasks that it performs for us. Number one, it is able to connect multiple devices and it also then routes traffic to the internet. That's what it's for. It connects devices to your internet connection so that you can then get online. Often this is what we use at home and you will have all your different devices at home. You will then connect to your router which is connected directly to your internet connection. This one is a little bit different. It's uh, kind of like a router but it's called a switch. This is called a switch. I don't know why it's called a switch. It's just called a switch. Okay. Now what does the switch do? The switch in a network is actually quite important. Most of the time, these are used in very large networks when you have a lot of computers that have to be connected to each other. This is what the switch does. It connects all the computers to each other and then provides the connection to the router, which is then connected to the internet. So let's have a look at that visually. Here are all the computers, okay? There is your switch going down to connect to the router which is then going to give you your internet access and that's sort of the basic path of a basic local area network couple of things we have two things here we have on the left hand side a wired network in other words the wired cable there's an ethernet cable rj45 and that then gives you connection to the server or the the route uh, the out oh, sorry to the switch and that then gives you access to the switch and wireless. Wireless then obviously gives you access to uh, a wireless network and if there's internet there as well you'll have access there. So that is a UTP or Ethernet cable and there you can see on the right hand side we have a wireless access point. So in a nutshell those are the basic components of a computer network. Something that you would probably find at home or at your school or a small business. So in a nutshell, that is the something to do with networks.